Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. I am on my way to work, so I'm going to try to do this look for you guys. Um, and I'm going to try to do something like when I wear like my face kind of natural. Okay, I did my three steps to my face. And I'm going to use my uh, Prep and Prime uh, for my face. It's uh, a skin base visage. Visage, okay. I put two uh, spots in my hand. And I just get my face really there. This helps whatever you wear stay on your face longer, for longer wear. And as I can see, I'm heavy-handed, so, you know, treat your face however you like, as T.O. says. So just really rub that in your face. Okay. I'm going to take some of my MAC mats, and I'm going to... Take that, and I'm just going to smooth this out. Now, remember this matte, oh, my God, it has your face like butter, people. I mean, the smoother. Sometimes I'll just wear this, and I'll go, and I'll put on a lip gloss, and I'm going out the door for the day. But this is really good. If you uh, read up under your studio fix, uh, uh, this is good to just use all under your studio fix, and that's it. Which is, I'm talking about the Studio Fix your, uh, powder, not the loose, in your compact. So, um, I use NW43 in my Studio Fix powder. So, I'll just add my powder on my face. And it, is, it, it makes it so, so smooth. It's like a, a better feel to my face when I use that matte. So... If you want like a natural day, this is how I go. I go, okay? So I just do that and look. Look how natural. I absolutely love that mat. It's M-A-T-T-E. Sometimes, uh, if you don't want to use the MAC mat, another one you can use is uh, by, um, oh, it's by, oh, who is it by? It's Photo Finish. Is that Sephora? That's a good one too. So, here we go. So, I'm going to take my Prep and Prime, Prime my eye. I'm going to do like a, another smoky eye look. But I'm going to use a Dark Soul since I repeated that so many times last night. And last night I used Black Black. But today we're going to use Dark Soul and I'm going to... Uh, do the top with smut. I'm going to take my shark skin again. And just, uh, just a little part. I know some don't prime when they use a shade stick, but it's totally up to you on what you want to do. And this will definitely be my first time, I know itch, my first time uh, doing both eyes at one time. So bear with me, since um, I have more minutes, I'll kind of like to take advantage of that when I can, while I can. So, here we go. And I think that's about right. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my 239 or my Dark Soul. And the Dark Soul is so, oh, it's so, so pretty. It has like a shimmer in it. Uh, to whereas the Black Knight, the Black Knight, Lord, where am I? The Black Black <laughs> is just more of a like all black with no shimmer. And as well, I'm going to take like a little napkin here. And all you're going to do is pat it. Just pat it on your eye. It's so pretty. I like the shimmer in it. Okay. Let 
very nice I like it okay there we go with that so let's do the other eye okay here we go and as I stated we're going to top that with smut yesterday with uh, black black I topped it with um, run so it's totally up to you which one you want to use totally they're both good if you have my skin color it'll go well or if you want to use carbon if you want a more darker smoky eye totally up to you okay there we go get this smoky eye going and right now I'm going to take my my smut with my two seventeen. This is smut right here. Let's see how this goes. I think it's gonna go well. And it's gonna lightly just take it from the top and just take your time. Ease it on over. Yeah, to me it's going perfectly. Another not too much is just a nice eye. You can't go wrong. Very nice. Right now, smut, I think if you want a real light smoke eye, you can just use smut by itself if that's what you want. That's what you're trying to capture here. Very nice. I like it. It's always hard for me to try to do the lift. So I'm going to take extra time. this one. Always make sure you get that corner and go over. I am so liking smut. Okay. I'm going to take my liner, Urban Decay. It's going to do a real thin. And you can wing it however you want. You can make it go out, but I'm just going to do it really thin. <clears throat> you can make it as dark as you like. I'll make it a little darker today under the eye. Okay. Take some of my prep and prime 
And I'm going to do use my dazzle lash. And I honestly now, since I've been using this prep and prime a lot, I think it really does help the mascara a lot, in my opinion. Okay. My Dazzle Lash in black. I really like the Dazzle Lash. I like really separated eyes. I don't like it really thick or anything. That's why I really enjoy my fiber wig as well. I absolutely love fiber wig. Fiber wig, you can pick that up at Sephora. And I'm sure if you uh, search that under my videos, I have plenty of videos with fiber wig. Love it. I love that stuff. Okay, today I want to go with a, um, a red lip. Y'all know what it is, that Ruby Woo. And I'm going to use my burgundy pencil by MAC. And this uh, Ruby Woo is a matte. A lot of celebrities wear it. Gwen Stefani is a, uh, she always wears this color. This is like one of her, her favorites. I mean, it just makes my lips pop out. So, and, um, today since I'm wearing my piece, I just really take my, uh, my wax which is my um, wheat, and I'll just line my brows down, and I'll take my brush, and I'll just brush them up. So this is mostly what I do for a light day, like today. Next, I'm just going to take, you can just wear your powder and go, but um, I'm going to put on a mineralizer. So I'm going to take my Duo in dark and just mineralize my face. Okay. So I'm going to put on my Dallas Girl. Dallas Girl is our free trash shake and go. If, um, I'm sure there's a video up about... Uh, my Dallas Girl. Of course, you know it has comb at the bottom, comb at the top. And I'm just going to slide this on here. If you have a big toothbrush, take your big toothbrush. And of course, I'll take my care care, but if you want to uh, have like a cheaper washing, that's fine, whatever you prefer, it's fine. And so I'm going to just like wing it over. And I'm going to take one side, I'm going to just put that behind my ear. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of my designer touch, and I'm going to just like put some like at the bottom of your hair right here, and I'm going to just, so it can stick to the bottom. So I'm going to like, do it like this. Just that one sliding part, that's it. See how I've done that? That's it. So you can really, like I said, do a lot to your pieces. It's just whatever you want to do. So I'm going to wait off the door, people. Here's the 
the look. I'm rocking my smoky eyes today with my dark soul, my smut, my uh, matte shark skin, my lips. I'm rocking that ruby woo. And on my face, I did my um, um, Clinique three steps. It's always good to moisturize your face, your face first and then put on whatever powders you like. I know I get a lot of emails. I tell you, my face looks ashy. It's always good. You have, it's a must. You have to moisturize your face first. And I put on my um, MAC Prep and Prime for basic, for longer wear for your makeup. And I put on my MAC by MAC. It makes your face smooth and just, I mean, people, if you try that MAC, trust me, that'd be the best thing that ever happened to you. And I put on my uh, MAC Studio Fix, and it's the go. So, people, I love you, love you, love you, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.